Hello everybody, today we're going to be going over how to make a Chrome extension using Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So as you guys, if you guys have been following me for over the last couple of videos, I've been using Claude 3.5 Sonnet to build games and SEO applications and things like that. And so today what we're going to do is we're going to build an SEO Chrome extension that extracts certain information from a web page. Just to show you guys how that looks like, I already built it for you guys using AI, I didn't code nothing for myself, but I will show you the process to actually building this for and for whatever use case you have. Whatever you want to do, if it's possible to actually program it, then it can do it for you. So to give you an example, I already started it. So what this does is you have two options. It can take a screenshot of the page or you can do a perform an SEO audit. The SEO audit will give you information such as the title, the description, headings, top phrases, top keywords, etc., etc. And then we're going to click on perform SEO audit and it pulls out the what the title is at the description. It gives you the headings. Um, so the H1s, the H2s, the H3s, uh, it gives you the top phrases, skip to main content, services about resources, C project pricing, contact SEO uh, by the number of times it comes, top keywords, your website, SEO, my site, user design web experience, etc. word count, reading time, page size, page load time. It doesn't have that. Probably have to fix it. The internal links on the website and the external links on the website. You can test this out by going to any other um, tool. So let's just look at news, right? Let's go to any page here. Let's go to global mail. Let that load. And then I'm going to click that and then run this again perform SEO audit and you can see the description, the headings, the top phrases, top keywords, word count, 1400 words, internal links and external links, which is very powerful. And this only took me probably like 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes max. And so the way you want to do this is generally the way I, I like to use GPT to actually build the structure in, in mind so that then I can ask Claude to actually build what GPT tells me to build. So if you go to G chat GPT, the first thing I asked it was, um, I went to, uh, cause I wanted to mimic, um, SEO quakes, uh, Chrome extension. And, uh, we all, I also have another Chrome extension called distilled, which uh, extracts title description, other information. And so I wanted to combine that. So what I did was I copied, uh, I copied all this and I copied a bunch of other stuff. And then what I did was I went to ChatGPT and I asked it what, it, first of all, I asked it, what's the process of building a Chrome extension? Just because I have never done it before. This is the first time I've ever, ever done something like this before and sort of explains that. And then what I did was I basically asked it, I want to build a Chrome extension that has the following features and then features. And then I basically just copied and pasted all that information and it, it built something out for me, basically a structure. And uh, I scrolled down and then what I did was because it gave me too much information, non-relevant information, what I did was I'm like, make the features concise and only other features that are relevant to SEO. I want the Chrome extension to be able to do SEO tasks, very basic, bad grammar English. And it built a prompt for me uh, and it started going into the details, which I didn't want it to do. And then I went back and I'm like, okay, what, what other features can I add regarding SEO, such as headings and extractions? And it gave me some other information that I can pull out. And then what I did was, um, and then it gave me a prompt here. And then, so I took this prompt and then I went to Claude 3.5 Sonnet. I'm like, I want to build a Chrome extension that can perform essential SEO tasks. Please provide me with the necessary steps, files and code snippets needed to ex implement this extension with the following features, features, these features. And it built a couple things for me and it tells me what I have to do. So I scroll down. I'm like, okay, it gave me a bunch of information. I'm like, can you add these features in? Because here it mentions that, um, uh, to implement the remaining features, you'll need to expand on this basic structure. Here are some tabs to implement. Um, so it basically told me, um, like you'll need to expand on this basic structure. Here are some tips for implementing the other uh, features. I wanted it to just do it for me. So I scroll, I'm like, can you add these features in? And so it starts building this thing out. And so it gives me a bunch of files and it tells me it explains the files. And then I'm like, can you add the following features? So, cause some of the features didn't have, so H1s, titles, descriptions, et cetera, et cetera. And then what you have to do is you, it basically tells you what you have to do. You have to build if a folder. So, um, basically you build any folder anywhere on the desktop or whatever. And, um, here you can see that I, I didn't fully know what to do. So I'm like, okay, since you finished 
building these features, how do I implement it and how do I add it to my browser? And it broke this down. So the first thing you wanna do is create a new directory for your extension. So you wanna create a folder on your computer, you can name it whatever. So I just copy this SEO toolkit extension. Then you have to create the necessary files inside this folder. So once you build a folder, you can open that folder in code. And so what I did was I, I opened the folder in code. And then what, so right now, when I first started, it would have been empty. And then you wanna create um, files. So you have to create a, a background.js file. So it'd be like you open it up you type in background dot js just click enter because it's already there it won't be it won't let me um and you basically build um empty files right and it tells you like content js you need a manifest json you need pop up html pop up js style css it'll be empty and then what you want to do is once you have that you want to copy the code from the artifact so you scroll up and you see some of these artifacts so for example this one's content js so you want to click on copy and then you go to content js and then you'd paste that in. And then you do that for every single file uh, that it tells you. And so um, you scroll down. And then once you have all the code within the, the files, you save all that. Now, all you have to do is you have to uh, copy this right here. So if you are using Chrome, um, if you're using another browser, it would be different. I'm using Edge, which is a Chromium browser, so this does work. You just copy that, you enter, and you click on extensions. It'll take you the, to the extensions uh, page, and what you wanna do is you wanna click on load unpacked. So it's a, a un unpacked folder, and I saved it here on desktop, and it's the SEO toolkit extension, and then I select folder, and it will, and then it's automatically in. And so now it loads up here, so you can take a look at it. I can scroll down, I can find it here, SEO toolkit, and I pinned it right here. And so yeah, I have, have literally a Chrome extension that works. I can take a screenshot. So if I click on taking a screenshot, it takes a full, well, not a full page screenshot. So I probably have to work with it to, to make sure that it scrolls and then takes a full page screenshot and it stitches together. But I mean, it takes a screenshot, it gives you information, um, like SEO information. And you can basically build anything like all these extensions here they look a little bit better for sure but i mean a lot of this information is already in the ex extension that i just built like perform seo audit the headings like this is just so easy and so nice to just extract quick information and i probably will be building this extension up and over time just make it better and better but this is this is crazy like the amount of information that I, this only took me 30 minutes to build and i can already think of like 10 other extensions that i can build off the top of my head but yeah this is Crazy. Now, I haven't figured out how to actually add it to the Chrome store. I will probably work on improving this uh, Chrome extension before I feel like, okay, maybe I can publish it for free on the Chrome uh, extension uh, uh, store. But yeah, I mean, that's, uh, in a nutshell, you have Cloud AI building a Chrome extension for you. As, as you can see, there's a lot of back and forth where I, for example, uh, can we add, I, I, so in this version, there was no screenshot. So I'm like, okay, can we add another feature where there's a button? Uh, when clicked, it'll take a full page screenshot of the page they're in. Also another feature that tells us the top 20 keywords by occurrences. And also features to extract expected reading time, page size, page load time. So the final version that you saw all has that information. So there's obviously back and forth and I'm asking it to add more and more information. But yeah, in a nutshell, I built a Chrome extension using AI with zero code. Anyone can do it. You can do it. I can do it. Everyone can do it. So yeah, until next time. See you guys later. Take care and bye.